not a role player there. He's a goddamn goal scorer. And that's what you got to get from hey, him. Listen, that's why they got him. Let's yeah. start with what we thought was the biggest prize right. of all. Let's start right there because everybody wants to know. And I was following uh, the Taylor Hall scenario uh, last night late. And, you know, I mentioned Bjork in a second rounder and the Buffalo Sabres fans went ballistic. I'm telling you, they were not happy at all. But no one Felino went for a first rounder. So let's start but, there. Well, first, let's start as to who was the biggest catch of this free agent season. And is it not Palmieri, the biggest catch? Is he not the best all-round player and the guy that Lou Lamorello made a decision to go after? And he and they got a throw-in in Sajak in the deal. So two, two necessary needs by the Islanders were met by that deal by Lou Lamorello. I think that's the premier deal. Shani, are you, are, do you agree? Or, well, well, based I, on I, how I Hall's you. played. I tell you what, I mean, I think I think from, from that perspective, if you sat down a week ago and said, would you rather have Kyle Palmieri go and joining your team or Taylor Hall joining your team, you'd want Kyle Palmieri. Exactly. I, mean, I, I, I think that seasonal, oh, and I also see what, I mean, maybe it's not a fair comparison. I also saw what Blake Coleman did from the Devils to Tampa last year, and I think that there's an expectation that Palmieri would do a similar addition to, to what the Islanders uh, expect out of him, and uh, and let's face it, Lou. Lou I mean, Lou familiarity. Lou, you know, those are two guys that don't have to be told they have to shave their beard off. They, 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 they are, those are two guys that understand Lou's way of thinking. You know, based on the fact that Lou likes them, understand what Barry Trotz expects out of them. So, from that perspective, that was an that was to me the biggest win so far. Uh, and the Taylor the Taylor Hall thing, though, guys. I, I I have never been the biggest Taylor Hall fan. Uh, me, for me, desperation in Boston. You lose a eight to one at home to the Caps. Um, you, but where's your goal scoring gone? You're now on the. You're now in a playoff fight, maybe with the Flyers, certainly with the Rangers, who I think are uh, on the rise. I mean, Boston needed to do something, and I think this this is an act of desperation from the Boston Bruins. Well, the the Bruins, to me, Hall, it's been miserable for Hall. I mean, it, it's been miserable for Hall after his first year in New Jersey. He wasn't very good after his first year where he was a star in the league. He wasn't very good in Arizona. He was okay, but he wasn't great like everybody would expect. And this year, it's been like unbelievably frightening how bad he's been. Is that his fault or the surroundings? But Boston, I mean, that was an American League roster almost that they dressed yesterday. When you looked at that roster from goaltending on out, it was a, it was very close to an American League lineup. And what is, they, they, they've had trouble scoring. Yes, they have, other than the big line. They desperately need somebody to play with Krejci. They've tried DeBrusque there a year ago. He looked like he was going to be a perfect fit. So does DeBrus go back there and Hall on the wing? Krejci to Disher. Can this rejuvenate Hall? He wanted to go there last summer, Hall. He's, he's not two goals bad. He's no, not. Exactly he isn't. But the price is, you know, I feel for Kevin. He holds half the money. He has to take Bjork's salary, basically, so that the Bruins have cap space to get a defenseman, which they need it, and also for Hall. And and they get Lazar, who, what what's Lazar? He's a fourth-line plugger. That's what he is. They, he's Wagner. Is what he, He's a younger Wagner is what he is for me. Okay. Um, Curtis, Lagar, Curtis Lazar has more goals than Taylor Hall does, boys. Yeah, but he's but he's a fourth line plugger for me. If, he's a, he, listen, he's a he's a worker bee. There's no question about that. The the story yeah. I got was there were no other teams pushing other than I the interest it. of the Boston Bruins. And you know, it's debatable if Edmonton Oilers just made a courtesy call or they really actually thought that uh, there might be a place, but John you, you you know that organization well. It never got that close, did it? Never did. 
Um, and whether that was the price that uh, that Kevin Adams was asking or they didn't feel there was a fit. You know, the, the biggest issue in, in Edmonton right now, because, the, you know, they, they, they only have really one player on LTIR, and that's Oscar Kleffbaum. Uh, their, 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 their issue right now is if it's cash in, it's cash out. Yeah. And, and one of the reasons, let's face it, one of the reasons why Buffalo is getting rid of Hall, they don't want to pay him anymore. They don't want to pay, or at least they don't want to pay him the, the $2 oh million dollars that's left on, on his contract. And they're you still going to have to pay a little bit. Again, pay um, a little bit. Yeah. Listen, it's Kevin Adams making the best of a bad situation is the way I, I see it. And the story that I heard was Boston was only prepared to give up a third rounder and then oh. they get shellacked by Washington and he bumps it up to a second and he says, take it or leave it. I'm going somewhere else. And we know there was a deal consummated. But it, and so, you know, yeah, maybe there, there there couldn't have been a whole lot of of love towards Taylor Hall to take him on because of how he's played. And also whether you like it or not, and not, you know, everybody, I happen to like Taylor Hall as a kid, but I'm sorry, the reputation is taking a beating. I mean, has he ever made the playoffs? Has he, you know, it's one year? Point. Yeah. One year, and has he contributed to helping a team get to the playoffs? I mean, look, he's got to he's got to do something in this in this short time here in Boston to to salvage this career. A hundred, my biggest, a my percent. So there's no wonder there was no real but love in, for him in, as far as a first. Who like who in their right mind would pay a first round pick? For a guy that's having a year like that, no, no GM in their right mind with the value of a. I'm shocked even at the Savard. I shouldn't be at the Savard and Felino first round picks. I'm sorry, but first round picks yeah, are going to be valuable this, in a flat cap era, boys. The saving grace out of all of this, out of, and I look back at Taylor Hall's career, is for the first time he's surrounded by real winners. Yeah, yeah. Berger, Bergeron, Ber yeah. Marchand. Yeah. Krejci, McAvoy, right? These guys, yeah, yeah. Have, these guys know how to win. And maybe it's, I'm not really a, a centerpiece kind of a guy. I'm not, I'm not the go-to guy on and off the ice. I'm not the star. I just can come in and score some goals like a Phil Kessel, like a Glenn Anderson. Just leave me alone and let me just find my space and, and go to the other guys. Nick, yeah, I hope you're yeah, right. But that didn't I, happen I hope in Buffalo. you're right. Yeah, but there was an expectation in Buffalo. There, oh, there was a real expectation was... in Buffalo. Jack and and Taylor, and That's they right. were going to reinvent the world. That's right. Yeah, there was, was no it... no question about that. Uh, but but I'll tell you what, Nick, if 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 Taylor Hall can change his thinking, but he's this is all on him now him to change his philosophy to understand that hey by the way i know i was a first first overall pick i know i've made a lot of money i know i won the heart trophy but i'm a role player now i am a role player i'm not playing on the first line i'm not even the you know i'm not i'm not the best player on my team you know these are these are things that he's going to have to accept contribute to the ruins and get a pretty good next contract wherever that is Good, good luck with him accepting that he's a role player. Like no, no, but 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 Doug, surely to God, I, they're not going to say we, we're, we're, you're going to be a role player for us. No, no, we need you to score goals for us. That's what we need. We need you to be a goal scorer. Okay, so you're you going to put him on the power play ahead of Marshan? No, but we need him to score goals five on five, and you oh, need him you to score are, goals. Are play, and are, he'll get plenty of power play time there. He'll, he'll play the second unit, so he'll get plenty of power play time. But he's not a role player there. He's a goddamn goal scorer, and that's what you got to get from hey, him. Listen, that's they'll, why they'll, they got him. They'll they'll put they'll 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 stick Pasternak on with him to get him going. I'm telling they you, to. they're they're going to do whatever they can to get this guy going. Ben, so I mean, it's what, a good gamble, I guess. Is it? Is it a good gamble for the Bruins? I think. I guess it is. To me, I thought it was either going to be Hoffman or him. That's who I thought it would be. And then St. Louis sort of yeah. jump in there.